nagkaroon ng time na nawala yung yung self worth ko. You know, you have to work to help your husband with the finances, to help prepare finances for your children for their future. Kasi dito sa Pilipinas, pag age mo ng 35, wala na. Para kasing etsapuera ka na. And it feels like hindi ko alam kung paano ko magiging yung confidence ko. Pag naging mom na sila, parang nawawala na yung career path nila. Kasi na-ped up ako sa sobrang traffic. So, papasok. Dahil madaling araw, either mag-grab ako or mag-aangkas, which is malaki-laki yung expenses. Um, the time spent with your kids and family are far more important than any job title out there. Nag-decide ako na maghanap ng online job at nakakuha nga ako. Sobrang saya ko talaga. Kaya tinulungan ko rin yung iba kong mga mommy friends at nagkaroon rin sila ng sarili nilang online job. Kaya doon ako na-inspire at nag-decide na simula ng Filipina home-based moms. FH Moms Community was created for mothers, for single women, for women professionals and entrepreneurs, for women overseas Filipino workers, for differently abled women, and even for young at heart women. FH Moms is a women community. Nung nagsimula yung FH Moms, hindi ko in-expect na ganito ka magiging malaki. Ngayon, meron na kaming more than 250,000 members nationwide. Dati ang tingin ng mga tao sa amin, community lang. No? Ngayon, social enterprise na kami with different projects na tumutulong sa mga kababaihan. We have free webinars about freelancing, entrepreneurship, parenting, and personal growth. We offer online short courses as well as mastery courses with trainers' one-year support. We also run a scholarship program and an internship program. We also facilitate charity activities where we are joined by community members as volunteers. Job matching program is something they can also look forward to, as well as e-commerce program. And to celebrate motherhood, we also have online bootcamp for kids. We also have the Computer Rent to Own program for members who need assistance in acquiring a computer set. Aspire to be a strong-willed, independent woman. Mas gusto kong maging productive at uh, saka na naniniwala ako sa continuous learning. Inspire other women. Everyone was uplifting each other. Everyone was trying to help each other. In this world, you have to be more, more, more kind. You have to be more helpful because everyone is fighting their own battles and you have to understand, you have to empathize. And that is what is FH Moms is doing with all the moms out there. Even, even if you're not a mom, you would feel welcome. Empower each woman to be in their fullest potential. And most importantly, Mommy MK and the team model humility and generosity. Talagang ito yung um, very evident which impacted me the most. So it gave me the desire to share freely to others what I learned freely from the FH Moms community. And I've always loved the community, the motive of the community that is to change the world one mom at a time. Good job, FH Moms. Aspire, inspire, empower. Nothing is stronger than a community of women lifting each other up. To be among women, who have genuinely tried to help people. This is something that I feel passionately about and then this is something that I saw in FH Moms. Mm, God is good. Kasi parang um, naturo sa akin to FH Moms na pinakita sa akin na um, kahit nasa bahay ka, kahit nasa nag-aalaga ka ng anak mo, it, it, it won't stop na dun ka lang. Yun lang yung pwede mong gawin. Without this community, I'm not here in this situation. So, FH Moms po yung nag-guide and nag-mold sa akin to be the best working at home mom I could ever be. Ang pinakamalaking impact sa FH Moms sa akin is their quote, which is moving forward, giving back. That's the very essence of FH Moms, eh. That's what I like about this group kasi uh, we encourage and inspire each other to keep dreaming to chase our dreams. Um, it's actually a big impact kasi if you are losing hope and wala ka ng gana and all, but because of this page, mapapasana all ka. Dahil sa online job, natupad ko yung mga pangarap ko at 
Ang pinakapangarap ko na lang ay eh, matupad yung pangarap ng lahat ng mga mami. Huwag tayong titigil na abutin lahat ng mga pangarap natin, masipagan pa natin, at huwag tayong susuko. Kaya kung feeling nyo hindi kayo teki, feeling nyo hindi pasok ang edad nyo para dito sa online freelancing, huwag nyong iisipin yon, kasi sobrang daming opportunities ang pwedeng ibigay sa inyo online. At nandito ang Filipina home base Moms para suportahan kayo. Para sa mga naghahanap ng online job at gusto ring matuto pagdating sa online business, you can join Filipina home base Moms Facebook group. My name is MK Bertulfo, CEO and founder of Filipina home base Moms, and our goal is to change lives one mom at a time. Hello, mga momshies! Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. And today is April 26, Tuesday, araw ng uh, Martes. Ayan, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat, mga momshies. We are so blessed today kasi meron tayong makakasama at uh, mamaya ay introduce natin siya. Pero bago ang lahat, don't forget to like, share, and tag um, this live your friends. Comment yun mga pangalan nila para naman mas marami tayong matututong ngayong araw na to. Dahil napaka-importante ng topic natin ngayon. Ako. And syempre, comment down where you are watching, mga momshies. Gusto kong malaman nasan kayo ngayon at anong ginagawa nyo. It's already 4 o'clock, medyo makulimlim sa labas, no? Pero sana po ay uh, nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan. Ingat-ingat po sa mga pauwi pa lang. At uh, kung kayo ay nagko-commute, nasaan man kayo, ingat po tayong lahat, syempre. And again, huwag kakalimutang i-like, share, at itag na po ang mga kaibigan ninyo. Dahil mamaya, um, nako alam po excited kayo at marami tayong, aside sa matutu matututo tayo, ang ating ang makakasama ngayong araw na ito ay mamimigay din po sila ng courses. Ayan, ano ba yung mga courses na ipapamigay po nila? Nako, mamaya, malalaman po natin yan. So, syempre, shout out muna uh, sa mga momshies natin. Ayan. So, si Mami Myla uh, Porton Villasilio watching from Batangas. Ito. Uh, mula naman sa Kainta. Ayan, medyo kapitbahay ko to. Si Mami e. Ivy Grace uh, Valdez. Hello po. Si Mami Kathleen Savillano. Wow, LU. Watching from LU. Working while listening. Si Mom, she... Um, From Mila Bernal, watching from Kamsur. Si Mami Jennifer De Leon, watching from Tondo, Manila. Hello, hello po sa inyo. Shout out lang. We are now, um, we have 68 live viewers. Kaya ba nating mas paramihin pa yung manonood ngayon? And um, don't forget to like and share this video. Paano ba mag-share? Punta po kayo sa Filipina Home Base Moms na page natin. Tapos may button po doon na share para naman mas marami kayo ba nating paabuti ng 100 plus viewers until the end of our life kasi sayang naman yung mga courses. And we will also announce din yung mga winners sa raffle. Kung nag-sign up kayo sa Likha Academy, kung nag-register kayo para sa ating webinar ngayong araw na to, definitely kasama po kayo sa ating raffle. Ia-announce natin yan. And also si Mami Yan Duisa watching from Surigao City here. Hello, good afternoon po sa inyo. Mula naman sa um, Davao City, Vioel Losaino and Villet Verde. Okay, ready ba kayo mga momshies na malaman at matuto ngayong araw nito? Alam nyo ba? Noong nagsimula yung pandemic, amin ninyo, talaga namang uh, nawindang tayong lahat kasi lalo na nung nagkaroon ng lockdown, nagkaroon ng hoarding ng pagkain sa grocery, wala tayong mabiling pagkain sa grocery kasi nga uh, halos lahat nag-hoard na. Yung iba ang haba ng pila sa grocery, doon natin na-realize kung gaano ba kahalaga ang magkaroon ng tinatawag na yung mga... Alam mo yun, mga plants, mga vegetables sa loob ng ating bahay. Not really sa loob, but also around our houses, kahit potted plants yan. Basta something na, ma, na matatanim mo, na pwede mong gamitin pang sahog. I remember meron akong kakilala sa, sa garden nila, kasi medyo malaki yung space nila. Sa garden nila, meron silang kamatis, may kalamansi, 
So, yun yung nakakabawas din sa, sa expenses nila kasi hindi na nila kailangan pang uh, bilhin yun sa palengke, di ba? So, meron din akong kakilala na kahit sa condominium sila nakatira, meron din sila, nag, nag, uh, tanim din sila ng mga, um, kumbaga pansahog, like meron siyang kalamansi, meron din siyang malunggay. Ano to we, eh, blogger to, follow ko siya. So talagang tuwang-tuwa ako. Pero yes, sabi ni Mami Leah Ordonez, laking tipid. Oo, uh, pag may mga hal alagang halamang gulay at prutas, totoo, exactly, napakalaking tipid. Lalo na ngayon na lahat ng presyo ay nagtataasan ng bibihin. So we are so blessed kasi meron po tayong kasama ngayon. They are, uh, he is from Likha Academy. Um, isa po siyang crop production specialist, farm development consultant, at um, isang organic agriculture production trainer. He co-runs Bronzy Farms in Silang, Cavite, and helps establish some small family farms sa Calabarzon region. Isa din po siyang advocate ng sustainable farming, which is, yes, definitely, kailangan-kailangan natin yan, and healthy food systems. And he hopes to encourage more people to get involved in agriculture. Imagine, ngayon natin na-realize kung gaano kahalaga ang agrikultura sa atin. Kasi mawala na, kung may pera ka man, pero wala kang mabiling pagkain, wala rin, di ba? So, napakalaking halaga ng agrikultura sa atin, ng ating mga farmers, fisher folks sa buhay natin. That's uh, very, how very important ang um, uh, um, ang role nila sa atin. Kaya naman, um, to start na our discussion, let me welcome Mr. Glenn Mariano. Ayan. So meron ako nakita kung may certificate ba to after. Wala po, ma'am. Wala tayong certificate. Baka malay mo manalo ka mamaya sa atin. Alright. Yes. Hi, Glenn. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mami Ru. It's nice to be here. Hi. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Alam mo, excited na ako sa pag-uusapan natin. Pero one quick question lang before we start. Paano ka nagkaroon? Kasi I, I suppose you are you are still nasa, nasa, kumbaga, nasa 20s pa rin eh. Millennial, ika nga. Paano nagsimula yung love mo for agriculture, for farming? Paano yung nagsimula? Yeah, ever since I was a child, kasi rooted na ako sa soil. Um, sa province kami nagbabakasyon kapag summer season. So dun ko, dun ko nakuha yung connections ko with, with the earth. And also my course is, uh, actually I'm not an agriculturist, but I'm a biologist by heart and uh, by wow. profession. Kaya in, inclined tayo sa hayop at halaman. And we know that agriculture is an applied biology. So I can apply yung mga science, science knowledge natin when it comes to growing plants and food uh, in general. Wow! Nice! Okay, dahil dyan, mga mamsies, ready na ba kayo na, na mapakinggan si Mr. Glenn Mariana? Type in yes. Yes sa comment <laughs> section kasi meron din siyang inihandang mga games sa atin. And you can win courses from Likha Academy. Mami, malalaman natin, ano ba si Likha Academy? Ayan. So please type in yes. And uh, dahil dyan, uh, Glenn, habang hinihintay natin yung mga mamsies sa mag-type ng yes sa comment section, I'll give the floor to you and see you later para naman sa um, Q&A portion mamaya before we end our live. Good luck! Bye-bye! Thank you so much, Mami Roof. Ayan. So, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for uh, staying tuned no, dito sa ating seminar. And I'm very excited because this kind of uh, training na binibigay namin, this has been my, jo my job during the pandemic. Kasi nga, uh, alam natin na medyo may kakulangan ng supply ng ating fresh produce sa, in different parts of the country. Kaya nagbibigay kami ng training talaga uh, to help many Filipinos grow their own food at home. So today I'll be representing Lika Academy and Lika Academy is an online platform that provides uh, courses not only in agriculture, but soon we will be providing courses uh, in arts, in lifestyle, sustainability, etc., in cooking as well. So I'm presenting to you organic gardening as our topic for today. And we will learn how to grow organic vegetables, make your own compost, because compost is the heart of organic. 
and organic concoctions. And also, in the last part, we will be talking about uh, integrated pest management. Okay, so if you have some if you have some experiences right now or challenges right now in growing your your own food, uh, write it down. Because later on, we'll talk about that. All right, next slide. Yeah. Oh, uh, feel free to comment your questions below later on, para masasagot natin sila during our discussion. So in this uh, picture, you can see there. This is our small backyard farm. We do composting, vermiculture. We grow our own fresh leafy vegetables because ang mga leafy vegetables yung pinakamadali at pinakamabilis uh, patubuin, no? Meron tayong uh, sorting ng mga biodegradable kitchen waste. Kaya kung kayo ay big family and you're producing plenty of kitchen waste, okay na okay sa inyong mag-start na mag-composting. Uh, we also uh, serve food no? sa mga visitors namin, organic and farm to table. Farm fresh vegetables, uh, readily available yan sa backyard. No? So we grow various kinds of produce like um, uh, cigarillas in as a picture, leafy vegetables. We have onion leeks. We have uh, lettuce, arugula, mustasa, etc. And also fruiting vegetables. Ayan. So I just want to, to inspire you uh, with some pictures na nakuha natin from our various Facebook uh, communities. Again, next slide. Uh, if you have a small space at home, you can definitely grow anything. Um, but if you have a large space, mas marami kayong matatanim. No? So if, you're, if, you're, if you have uh, a farm or a property na hindi ginagamit, nako, uh, might as well convert yun into a small farm or a garden. Pero kung small space lang, don't worry. Because as you can see in this picture, sa backyard lang yan in an urban setup, they can grow okra, basil, no, in, in the first picture there. And then you have their ampalaya na tinatubo lang sa harap ng bahay. And on the upper left, uh, upper right, you can see there yung mga styrofoam boxes. Uh, nagtanim siya ng pechay. No? So walang excuse kahit ikaw ay mayroong maliit na space. And then sa harap naman ng iyong uh, bahay, pwede ka maggumamit mag ng mga containers. Uh, you can see there yung mga half drums. Tinanim niya ng mga sitaw and okra. And even small 4 inches in diameter plastic containers, you can grow leafy vegetables like pechay or lettuce. No? So, pag gusto may paraan, no? para maka-harvest tayo ng fresh and organic produce. Alright. So, next slide tayo. Alright. So, in organic gardening, so based naman ito sa organic farming, so essentially, we are discussing all about the production system na nagsusustain sa buhay ng lupa, no? sa soil, ecosystems, and people. It relies on the ecological processes. So basically, ginagaya lang natin or binabasi natin sa nature, sa natural na proseso, at sa biodiversity, and also yung mga cycles adapted to local conditions. Um, halimbawa, sa urban setup, no? medyo mainit. So may mga strategies tayo na ginagawa para baka survive yung ating garden. And sa mga malalamig na lugar, mas may advantage because most of the vegetables would prefer uh, cooler temperature. So, yung mga ganitong klaseng consideration, the environment, the availability of resources, yan ay kinoconsider natin in organic uh, gardening. Uh, and then also, organic agriculture simply means a production system does, that does not use chemically manufactured inputs. So this is very important in defining organic kasi gusto natin all natural. So for example, meron tayong kailangang ibigay sa halaman. We always use the naturally sourced ingredient. So later on, i-discuss natin, especially sa composting part, kung ano-ano ba yung mga dapat nating ilagay at ibigay sa ating mga pananim na halaman. Alright, next slide. So we need to compare first no, the difference between organic and the conventional uh, agriculture or farming. So in organic farming or in organic gardening, essentially we use organic compost or animal manure as a fertilizer. So ginagamit natin ito para mabigyan ng nutrients yung ating mga halaman. 
and the use of natural practices such as crop rotation and intercropping. So we never plant the same uh, plant or crop in the same space uh, every cycle. So pa iba iba ang itinatarimatan. For example, you have a big container uh, there in your home, and then we plant their tomato. Pag nakaharvest ka ng tomato, dahil nga nag-enjoy ka, you have the tendency to plant another tomato again. So in organic, we don't practice that because in nature, uh, gusto natin pa iba iba because may mga nutrient requirement na pa iba iba rin. So instead of planting tomato, we plant a different crop like uh, leafy vegetable. For example, we plant arugula or we, we can also plant their uh, cabbage. Ganyan. And less to no risk of toxic chemical contamination because simply we don't use uh, chemically manufactured inputs to our plants. And it requires some more space, labor, and knowledge for production. Kaya totoo yung sinasabi natin kapag may sipag at tiyaga, no? uh, may mga harvest, may mga ani. Okay? And it also improves biodiversity because again, we do not harm the environment when we practice organic gardening. However, sa conventional naman, um, this is a practice that use synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, and GMOs that can contaminate crops and alter the environment. Right. This, is, this is very much a uh, very general description. And this is a practice for mass production of food. So, dyan na ngayon papasok yung ating uh, supply and demand. No? Kailangan natin ng maraming supply. That's why itong conventional ang widely practiced. No? Pero ito naman ay magiging safe as long as we follow the best agricultural practices or the good agricultural practices kapag tayo nagpo-produce na ng mga pananim. And it requires less space or land for mass production because in integrated organic farming, we need different types of farm components. Kailangan natin ng composting facility, kailangan natin ng um, area for production pr pr producing vegetables, kailangan natin ng water collecting facility, etc. etc. But in conventional farming, once you have one strip of land, pwede ka na dyan magtanim directly because you just get inputs outside. Okay? And uh, in uh, conventional farming, less labor and higher yield, again, because we're feeding uh, the plants directly using uh, synthetic fertilizers. Next slide. And this is very important. We need to share the principles of organic farming because the lahat ng method na makukuha nyo sa gardening ay anytime pwede nyo ma-access yan. Pwede kayong manood ng video sa YouTube, pwede kayong magbasa ng mga articles, etc. Pero itong principles, kailangan natin itong i-embody at isa puso. So ano-ano ba itong mga principles ng organic farming or gardening? So number one is principle of health. So when we talk about health, we should sustain and enhance the health of soil, plant, animal, and human, and planet as one and in indivisible. So kailangan nating pahalagahan, hindi lang tayo, kinoconsider din natin yung environment natin and yung mga hayop at halaman na involved sa proseso. Ecology, also similar definition, uh, in organic agriculture should be based on living ecological systems. We need to respect the natural cycles, the system of nature, and we need to help sustain them. Kaya, whenever we do gardening, we also encourage planting of flowers, native trees, native plants, because we want to attract the biodiversity of our area. Fairness, another principle. Uh, organic agriculture should, be, should build on relationships that ensures fairness with regard to the common environment and opportunity. So, kung tayo ay may malaking farm at tayo ay nag employ ng mga farmers, we need to really be fair with uh, providing them enough resources and support para masustain din nalang kanilang buhay. And also for care. We care for the future. We care for the uh, children that we will pass on yung ating mga uh, ginagawang pagpa-farming or gardening. And kailangan natin silang turuan para alam din nila paano magpatubo ng kanilang pagkain. Sabi nga sa isang post na nakita ko, uh, growing your own food or planting your vegetable is like printing your own money. Kasi nga, uh, maliban sa makakatipid ka, pwede mo pang ibenta yung excess na produce and that would generate livelihood for most farmers here in the Philippines. Okay? Next slide. 
So let's move on to the meat, no? Ang pinaka heart ng ating organic gardening is yung composting. So this is a very simple process that is vital in organic gardening. So ano ba yung composting? Next slide. Composting is essentially making your own org organic fertilizer. Because again, hindi natin kailangan bumili ng fertilizer. Kailangan natin siyang gawin at kailangan natin siyang i-practice every now and then para meron tayong sustainable source ng ating organic fertilizer sa mga halaman. So ano ba yung ingredients ng compost natin? First, we need green. Ito yung mga fresh materials na high in nitrogen. For example, yan yung mga green leaves, coffee ground, and food scraps. No? Another thing is yung water. Uh, alam natin ang decomposition would require microorganisms and the microorganisms are living organisms. Uh, they need water to survive. So decomposers, uh, microbe, require a layer of water on organic particles to move around and uh, digest the nutrient. Okay? And for the browns, materials that are relatively high in carbon, like the dried leaves, twigs, wood, kung kayo ay may uh, backyard sa inyong mga bahay, Marami kayong makukuhang mga browns and greens uh, ingredients para sa ating compost. And of course, lastly, yung air. No? Ang compost, alam nyo ba, ay hinahalo-halo natin yan every now and then. Sometimes every three days, every week, every month. Depends on the volume on the scale, or the scale ng inyong uh, composting uh, procedure. So, given all this, greens, water, browns, and air, makakapag-produce tayo ng compost. So later on, idadaysek natin, especially yung mga greens and browns. Next slide. But first, we need to choose ang uh, ating composting area. Generally, a composting site should be easily accessible. Dapat madali itong lapitan, puntahan, at uh, paglagyan ng compostables. Bakit? Kasi pag sobrang layo, tinatamad. Tinatamad tayo. And position your composting site away from the house, especially if it is causing distracting smells. Kung tayo ay mahilig maglagay ng mga wet ingredients or wet uh, materials, medyo mag-degenerate ito ng smell. So pwede natin medyo ilayo ng konti sa bahay or sa pintuan para hindi natin maamoy. And it will it might distract uh, us from like cooking, for example. No? DIY composting bins are great for small volume compost. So in, as you can see in the uh, sa picture sa ating right side, meron tayong composting bin na gawa sa, it, sa uh, uh, wire mesh. Ayan. So pag may wire mesh ka, it means may mga butas-butas yan. Yes. Tapos makakapasok yung hangin natin sa compost. So makakahinga yung mga microorganisms natin. And the size of your compost area should be based on the amount of organic waste your farm or house can produce. Okay, so mga mummies, uh, take note na kung gagawa tayo ng composting bin or mag-aalat tayo ng composting area, make sure na yung, sa, yung dami na mga, ng mga waste natin ay kaya doon sa area. Kasi mamaya, gumawa tayo ng masyadong malaki, pero konti lang pala yung waste na nagagawa natin sa bahay or na-generate natin sa bahay. So, pwede namang gumawa ng maliit Pero pwede nating localize meron sa iba't ibang area sa garden natin. Alright? Next slide. So, ito yung mga pwede nating ilagay sa ating composting composting beans. So, yung have the greens, fresh vegetables, fruit scraps, eggshells. Yes, pwedeng pwede yan. Lalo na kung dudurugin natin ang gusto. Cut flowers, garden, uh, most garden and grass clippings, coffee grounds, filters, tea bags, etc. And for the browns, ito yung mga fallen leaves, untreated straw, mga newspaper, plant stalks, twigs, branches, untreated wood chips and shavings. Also, yung paper pwede, pero medyo matagal yung paper. But yes, pwede silang madecompose. No? On, on the other side, you need to consider yung mga hindi natin nilalaki sa compost. For example, yung mga cooked food, mga rice, cheese dairy, meat bones. Pet waste, because pet waste can con can contaminate your compost with salmonella. Uh, use tissue paper, tissue and paper towels kasi medyo matagal sila. But yes, pwede naman silang madecompose through time. Produce stickers, ayan, may plastic component yan. Oil and grease, glossy or coated paper, treated or painted wood, and aggressive weeds and grass because they might harbor some seeds 
na pwedeng ma, ma, mag-spread out sa ating garden. And also, poisonous or diseased plant. Okay? So, now you know kung alin yung mga dapat natin ilagay sa compost at hindi natin dapat ilagay sa compost. So, we can now start later on. Pwede kayo para hindi uh, mag, maging stagnant yung liquid or yung moisture. Uh, ipa, pwede natin ipatong sa isang area na direct sa soil. Ayan. Pag wala naman direct sa soil, pwede itabi sa area na uh, hindi maabot na mga pest or mga high, alagang hayop natin. Okay? Next slide. So, ito yung basic summary. You know? Gusto natin bigyan ng emphasis na yung location ng bin natin dapat hindi ito uh, sa gabal sa ating uh, uh, mga daily essential activities and also dapat accessible din siya at the same time. And you can use mga timba, mga mesh wire, pwede rin gumamit ng mga carton boxes, pwede gumamit ng wood, kung anong convenient at uh, available sa inyo. Again, hindi natin kailangan gumastos. Have tools accessible, decide on kitchen pail for food scraps, ayan, and also collect yung mga materials na, ginagawa, na ginagamit natin. You can build a pile, you, you can uh, Uh, compile them in an area kung saan, kung hindi pa tayo magsistart, pwede ipunin lang sila ng ipunin until such time na ikokompose na natin sila. And aerate and mix as needed. Check and adjust moisture as needed. So, lagi natin didiligan kung ito ay natutuyo. Especially sa mga urban area, medyo mainit sa ating urban setup. Kaya, it is very advisable na didiligan natin siya. Huwag natin hahayaang matuyo ang ating compost. Pero, hindi naman natin siya dapat iiwang basang-basa. Tamang moisture lang. And about 8 to 12 weeks, pwede nang i-harvest. No? Option kung i-direct mo na siya sa plants, pag nag-mix ka ng soil, isama mo yung compost, pwede mo rin siyang i-sift or i-screen because sometimes compost can be sold. Uh, it can be sold for about 15 pesos a kilo. So kung tayo ay gumagawa ng, ng bulk compost, pwede pa rin natin siyang ibenta eventually. And when the bin is full, empty and boob and start a new pile. So it's a cycle, no? Ito sa gubat nangyayari ito naturally. So ginagawa lang natin sila sa bahay natin because we want a natural and organic way of producing the necessary nutrients for our plants to grow. So again, our focus is to enrich the soil because the soil is where the, the, the roots will get more nutrients for the plant to grow. No? All right, next slide. Another thing in organic gardening is making your own organic concoction. And organic concoctions is not the concoction na iniinom ng mga tao. This is, this is a fertilizer, generally a liquid fertilizer, for the plants to flourish and grow. Next slide. So, uh, ito yung another heart no, ng ating organic farming. As you can see there, may mga containers, bottles, na may mga lamang parang brown liquid sa loob. So, may mga tawag tayo dyan, mga FPJ or the fermented plant juice, FAA or the fish amino acid. So, itong mga ito ay ginaga ginagamit natin para ma-boost yung growth ng halaman. And yung mga, mga ingredients and materials na kailangan natin to make these concoctions ay relatively accessible because we can get that in markets, in, in mga local palengkes. So, itong process ng concoction na to is done through fermentation. We ferment because we want to enhance yung kanilang nutrient content with the use of beneficial microorganisms like the indigenous microorganisms. So, I assume some of uh, the mommies listening right now, mayroon na silang experience sa paggawa ng mga organic fertilizers like this. Pero sa iba, wala pa. So, this is a mixture of uh, water, molasses, and natural ingredients. Para pag na-ferment, nadudurog na yung mga nutrients, pwede na siyang i-absorb ng ating mga halaman. Sige, next slide. So this is just a summary of uh, preparation of ating fermented organic concoctions. So simulan, it, simulan natin sa FPJ. When we prepare FPJ, uh, basically kailangan lang natin ng 1 uh, kilo of dark sugar, yung mga black sugar, or brown sugar, or molasses. The best ang molasses because molasses, Uh, is already like a byproduct ng no, ating uh, pag-manufacture ng sugar. And mayaman ito sa uh, mga nutrients din yung ating molasses. Kaya I recommend kung may mahanap ko yung molasses, use it. And then one kilo of chopped plant materials. For example, the kakawati leaves or yung mga vegetables, uh, uh, 
na hindi natin ha-harvest, uh, especially if you have a larger space. Yung mga weeds na overgrowing, yan, pwede natin gamitin yan sa FPJ. So, ito-chop lang natin sila. Pag ha-halo-haloin natin yung molasses and chop um, uh, plant material and we cover it using a cloth para makahiga yung microorganisms natin doon and then we store it for two weeks. So, napo-ferment siya for two weeks. Uh, saan ba natin ginagamit ang fermented plant juice? No? Ito ay ginagamit natin to to boost the vegetative stage of a plant. Ibig sabihin ng vegetative stage, kung kailan nagdadahon at nagpo-produce ng maraming leaves yung ating plant, doon natin binuboost yung kanyang um, nitrogen because FPJ is a nitrogen-rich organic concoction. Paano ba natin ginagamit yung FPJ natin? After two weeks, meron ka ng liquid na pwedeng i-harvest and ito ay uh, dinadilute natin to sa tubig, hinahalo natin siya sa water at pinandidilig natin sa lupa. Para, again, um, fertigation ang tawag yun, fertilization and irrigation at the same time. So, morning or afternoon, no? Uh, ang pag-dilute natin, we get two tablespoon ng fermented liquid and mix it with one liter of water. Kung meron naman kayong mas malaking garden, sa isang timbang tubig, we put there one can of the uh, fermented mixture. Alright? Morning or afternoon, two to three times a week and use during all plant stages. So kahit anong stage ng plant, baby pa yan, maliit pa, malaki or namumunga na, pwede mo siyang idilig. And also, not only sa ating vegetables, but also sa, uh, pwede natin gamitin to sa ating mga indoor plants and house plants or sa landscaping plants. Pwede rin yan. Next is the fermented fruit juice. Ito namang fermented fruit juice, ito ay ginagamit natin kung ang ating mga pananim ay namumulaklak or namumunga na. So, it's very similar ng process. You get one kilo of dark sugar or molasses, and then ang ingredients naman natin dito ay one kilo of assorted chopped fruits. No? So, ngayong season na to, very common ang manga. So, pwede kayong bumili ng mga reject na na manga, pwede nyo gaming FFJ or papaya, or saging, etc. So, ganun din. I-chop natin, i-mix natin together, we store it for two weeks, and then after two weeks, we get two tablespoon, dilute it with one liter of water, and then we spray it two to three times or more per week sa ating mga flowering and fruiting vegetables and plants at home. Ayan. Ito ay nagbibigay ng potassium sa halaman. And we know na ang potassium ay kailangan ng mga plants para makadevelop sila ng fruit, mga matatamis na fruit. Okay? And the fish amino acid. So, very same lang din ang process. So, ang ingredient natin dyan, 1 kilo of fish inards. Yung mga hasang, yung mga bituka. Yan. Ginagamit natin ito para gumawa ng, again, nitrogen-rich and amino acid-rich na organic concoction para sa ating mga halaman. So, ganun din. We mix it, we put it in a container, we cover it, we label it, and after two weeks, we get two tablespoons of mixture, one liter of water, tapos spray natin or itilig natin sa soil. Yeah. So, binibigyan na natin ng supplement or ng material, uh, nutrients yung ating mga halaman so that they can grow. Again, this is organic. We don't use chemicals here. So, we use the natural ingredient para makapag-produce tayo ng fertilizer for the plant. Alright? So again, uh, ito ay part din ng aming crash course to organic farming or introduction to organic farming course in Lake Ha Academy. So if you want to learn more, you can essentially like uh, explore the course event soon. So, yeah. Next slide. Ayan. Another type of concoction, siyempre, yung nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, and mga amino acids. Kaya, kaya na natin makuha yan sa FPJ, FFJ, and FAA. However, calcium is also an important uh, nutrient na kailangan ng halaman. Paano ba natin ginagawa yung calcium uh, or calcium phosphate? So, nagpe-prepare tayo ng eggshell uh, and then we pound or crush into small pieces. Pag na-crush na natin sila, pinapan-fry natin sila, sinasangag natin sila. Of course, we don't use oil. So, just the eggshell. No? Pag 50% na ay brown, Pinapalamig natin yung crushed na eggshell, as you can see in the picture. And then we put the eggshells into a jar or large bottle and pour 1.5 liters no, of natural vinegar. Yung eggshell dapat mga nasa 500 grams or half a kilo. 
uh, we put natural vinegar. Yung nabibili sa market, yung mga taga 10 pesos, 20 pesos, na nakalagay sa 1.5 liter container. And then wait for the bubbles to subside and still the jar or bottle and store for 10 days. So matutunaw yung ating eggshell. Yon ang ngayon ang ating calcium phosphate. So pag gumagamit tayo ng calcium phosphate, we just get one tablespoon, no? One tablespoon only and dilute it in one liter of water. So konti lang because calcium is not um, uh, not very much a macronutrient. So konti lang ang kailangan ng halaman when it comes to calcium. So, sa natin ginagamit or paano natin siya gamitin, better na i-spray ang ating calcium uh, phosphate sa ating mga halaman. Or pwedeng ilagay nyo sa pandilig at i-dilig nyo sa ibabaw ng plant. So, dapat mabasa yung dahon. Because uh, calcium tends to enter more easily kapag ito ay nasa dahon uh, than the roots. Alright? So, ayan. Meron na tayong calcium phosphate. Next slide. Meron din tayong isang organic concoction na uh, tinatawag nating Oriental herb nutrient. No? Ang oriental herb nutrient natin, this is used to enhance the nutrients of livestock sa mga alagang hayop naman natin. Likewise, in growing crop production, OHN is commonly used as a natural insect repellent. No? So kung tayo ay may problem sa pest, pwede natin gamit itong OHN. So paano ba ginagawa itong OHN? So as you can see in the ingredients, we need to prepare one cup of crushed ginger, one cup of crushed garlic, one cup of brown sugar or molasses, and then two bottles of beer. Wow, may beer. So, yeah, so procedure natin, we mix all the fresh ingredients. Dapat talagang crushed to ng gusto. Mas pino, mas better. Ibig sabihin, mas mabilis ang decomposition or fermentation. And we need to store it inside the jar, cover and keep it sealed after three days. Then we add the beer. So after three days pa lang tayo maglalagay ng beer. No? Keep the jar sealed again for and store for 10 days. So, a total of 13 days to 2 weeks itong ating process. And then, we use this, uh, 1 tablespoon nung, li nung mixture with 1 liter of water in it. Ni-spray natin to, especially kapag uh, vegetative stage. No? Wag nating hayaan makita yung pest. Mag-spray na tayo every, every now and then because prevention is better than cure. We want our plants to be as healthy as possible and pest-free. So, Instead na may makita tayong pest, maglagay na tayo agad para ma-prevent na natin yung pag-spread ng ating mga pest eventually. Alright, next slide. So, I, I, I will introduce to you different uh, vegetables. So, ito, very quick lang, no? Uh, just a picture appreciation. Sige, ano-ano ba yung mga pwede nating patubing vegetables sa garden natin? Ayan, so we have here, next slide. The first group, we have the leafy vegetable. So generally, this is the easiest group that we can grow, rich in vitamin A, C, magnesium, and it will only take us 21 to 45 days after transplant para makaharvest tayo. So ganun lang kabilis. So we have a project, or we have a farm development project in Mindanao, and ito yung una naming tinanim because again, na, na, na bagyo, na, na natural disaster sila, so we need to, to provide them fresh and nutrient-rich leafy vegetables. So, pinakamabilis ang ating leafy vegetables. Ano-ano ba yung mga leafy vegetables natin? Next slide. We have their cabbage, we have their lettuce, we have um, kangkong, we have spinach. No? Alam nyo ba ang English ng ating alugbati? It's called the red malabar spinach. Yeah. So, medyo pasosyal. Kung next time na magluluto kayo ng ginisang monggo, pwede nyo sabihin na uh, mung bean soup with red malabar spinach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, meron din tayong next slide. Um, solanaceous or yung mga fruiting crops there. Um, mga sile. We have their talong. We have their peppers and kamati. Next slide. And picture. So very much, uh, we're excited to see these crops growing in your garden. Next slide. And then we have uh, cucurbits. So cucurbits are vine crops, no? Kailangan ng trellis. So example natin dyan. Ito ang mga squash, bitter gourd, uh, cucumber, yan. ambalaya, ayote, ambalaya. Next slide. Ayan. Alright, so 
pag nag-garden tayo ng cucurbits, kailangan meron silang trellis. No? Any materials is okay, pero better kung ito ay gawa sa natural, pro- natural material like wood or bamboo. Next slide. So for the legumes, so they're very unique and one of my favorites, they have uh, nitrogen-fixing bacteria na symbiotic sa kanilang mga roots that help them get more nitrogen in the atmosphere. So legumes are, for example, sila yung mga mongo, sitaw, beans, snow peas, French beans, patani, sigarillas, etc. So ayan. Um, next slide. Another example. Ayan. We have mongo, we have sigarillas there, sitaw, bagu beans, sicharo, etc. So yung mga may mga pods na vegetable, sila ay under legumes. Again, they have the symbiotic relationships and nitrogen-fixing bacteria that helps them get nitrogen to atmosphere. So, very, very easy to grow ang ating mga legumes. Next slide. Then we have the crucifers, or yung ating mga brassica. Most species are produced for human consumption. We have the cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, and kale. No? Highly nutritious din to. So, yun yung mga example natin. Next slide. So, kale, mustasa, we have Brussels sprouts, we have uh, um, broccoli, cauliflower, yeah, cabbage. Next. Then we have root crops. Ayan. For the root, crop, root crops naman, we, these are underground plant parts no? na kinakain natin. So, example, the taro, purple yam, kamote, kasaba, yakon, carrots, radish. Marami tayong examples niyan sa root crops. And again, th- this is also a very good staple food for many people no? globally. Next slide. As you can see in the next picture, meron tayong ube, carrots, kamote, no? uh, radish, and yung ating yakon. Yeah. So, ito dapat pag nagtatanim tayo ng uh, root crops, dapat medyo malalim yung ating soil. Yeah. Okay, next slide. Yeah. So, whenever we do gardening, again, we combine no, the compost. No, gustong gusto yan ang roots ng mga halaman. Yung, yung decompose, uh, compost natin ay super important yan sa pag-grow ng ating plant. So, kahit all stages yan ng plant, okay lang maglagay ng compost. You, you do it like once a week or even uh, once every two weeks, maglagay tayo ng compost. The problem with most gardeners, ang ginagawa kasi nila, uh, pag nagtanim ng vegetable, yun na yun, hindi na inaalagan, dinidiligan lang, dinidiligan. Pero better, naglalagay tayo weekly or once every two weeks ng compost. Sa organic garden. Okay, that's the secret. And also the herbs, no? Very favorite to add spice and flavor sa ating mga culinary recipes. Next slide. We have their example like the basil, rosemary, tarragon, celery, mint, and thyme. By the way, we have a special course dedicated for growing your culinary herbs. Uh, again, in Lika Academy. So if you're interested, uh, feel free to browse our website afterwards. Yeah, so very much super nice culinary herbs. And last group is the flowers. Ayan. So flowers uh, will not just add beauty but also attract bees and can increase diversity in your area. So magandang pang beautification and also for decorative purposes ang ating flowers. Okay, next slide. So meron tayong quiz. So, ah. Yeah. Sige. Um, may question tayo I think after this slide. Sige. Wala pa. Sige, go back tayo dun sa seed. Sige. So, I have to ask a question first before we we proceed, no? Um, live pa ba ang ating mga mommies? Alright. I will ask this question before I proceed to this slide. Okay. So, my first question, okay, uh, what do you call so, what do you call the process of breaking up soil biodegradable wastes through the use of microorganisms? 
So, ano yun, anong tawag dun sa process ng ating pag-breakdown ng ating mga uh, organic waste huh? na ginagawa nating organic fertilizer. Alright? So, we can check the answers there later. So, we will choose a, we will choose actually a, a, a winner no? kung sinong makakasagot. Okay? So, just type it on the chat box there. Uh, the, the comment section. And then another question. So I just have two questions here. What do you call the group of vegetables that has a symbiotic relationship with nitrogen-fixing bacteria? Ayan. So just type it on the comment section. Ayan. All right. So later on, we will reveal the, the winners there. Okay. Thank you for participating. All right. Okay. Now I will discuss the seed. No. So when we grow organic vegetables, we start with organic seeds. No. Paano malaman kung organic ba to or not? If you, if you see organic, wala siya mga chemical inputs. So as you can see in the tomato seeds above, may orange and may yellowish. Dapat ito ay walang color. Kasi ang mga may color na seed ay treated din ng fungicide or pesticide. But does it necessarily mean na bad naman ito mga to? Because we put fungicide and pesticide para mas matagal ang shelf life ng ating mga seeds. No? Pero again, if we are strict and organic, we don't use uh, synthetic seeds or yung mga seeds na may treatment. No? So, yan mga seeds example natin na uh, sa, sa picture. We have lettuce seeds, we have cabbage seeds, ampalaya, uh, carrots, and also the sinkama seeds. Ayan. Next slide. And so soil, again, when we have a soil at home, uh, generally, dapat sila ay dark. Dapat hindi, da, hindi dry, not compact, hindi matigas, and dapat spongy or porous, dapat malambot yung soil. The problem with the most soils kasi in, in urban, sandy, masyado matigas, dry. So we need to amend. How do you amend? You add more compost. Okay, next slide. And to make your own organic seedling mix, we use this formula. Two parts of cocoa peat, two parts of vermicast, and one part of carbonized rice. Ano ba itong mga to? Yung cocoa pit is a uh, uh, coconut husk yan uh, na gin rind para makuha yung ating yung pinaka pit. And then vermicast is a worm casting very rich in in nutrients and microorganisms. So good yan for providing nutrients as in seedling. And also the carbonized rice hull. This is this will give porosity dun sa ugat ng seedling natin. Because again, we want a really uh, porous or, uh, soil sa ating seedling. And then you can use recycled uh, materials like tissue roll tubes, paper, egg trays, paper cups, etc. Uh, paggagawa tayo ng seedling uh, container. Next slide. Ayan. Ayan. Yan yung, yan yung uh, pwede natin gawin sa bahay during our free time. And pwede natin i-involve ang ating mga seeds sa gardening because gardening is very therapeutic. Okay? So dyan tayo magtatanim ng seedlings at lilipat natin sa mas malaking pot pag ito ay nag-grow na. Next slide. Ayan. So, organic fertilization program. Habang lumalaki yung plant natin, nagdadagdag tayo at sometimes nagbabago tayo ng fertilizer na binibigay. However, when we when we use the compost, all stages yan pwede. No? Parang tao lang yan rin yan. Pag bata ka pa, iba ang nutrient requirement mo. Pag adult ka na or teenager, and then pag matanda na, nag-iiba yung nutrient requirement. So, ganun din sa halaman. And many people fail to understand this concept. That's why we're teaching, nagbigay lang tayo ng may bigay ng mga um, input sa ating mga halaman, organic inputs, para mapa, mapaganda natin at mapabunga natin ito ng gusto. Okay? And ito na last nating uh, discussion, which is the vegetable and the pest, uh, vegetable pest, and this is management. Next slide. So, ano ba yung pest, no? Uh, ang pest natin sa agriculture, ito ay yung mga hayop that interferes with the production or crops sa live or sa livestock natin, no? Bakit ba nandiyan yung pest? Because we want uh, they want to feed, they want to reproduce and uh, they use our uh, garden as a shelter, no? Kailangan natin ng management diyan sa, sa pest. So, meron tayong number one, monitor, check niyo muna kung may pest. Next, you need to identify what kind of pest and then develop economic thresholds. So, medyo ano na to, technical, but 
we need to assess no kung kailangan na ba nating mag-take action and then we implement yung ating strategy no sige and then lastly record keeping and evaluation para alam natin kung para tayong mga scientists no dapat alam natin kung paano mag magagawa ng strategy para maiwasan itong problem na Okay, ano na ba yung mga common test natin? So, I'll just show you picture. Next slide. We have white fly. No? We have their um, aphids, no? mealybug. Ayan, yung mga picture na yan. Kitang-kita nyo dyan. So, baka dumating yan sa point na uh, habang nag-garden kayo, makita nyo sila. Next slide. We have leaf miner. We have fruit fly. And we have the cucurbit beetle, no? Yung common sa mga fruiting vegetable yung fruit fly natin. No? Sa tomato naman, common yung leaf miner. Yeah. Okay, next slide. So, sa, in, sa IPM natin, we use the OHN. We sometimes use crop rotation. We use herbs sometimes. Nagkatarim tayo ng mga herbs in between para ma-repel yung mga pests because the herbs contain really strong smell. So, we can use those as a prevention. No? And monitor. Daily routine dapat ang pag-monitor natin sa garden. Again, maliban sa ma-relax ka pa, para kang, ano, para kang nagpa-patrol. No? I have a, an experience before when I grow strawberries at home. Talagang gabi-gabi, dapat may na-monitor po talaga sila para ma-maintain natin na hindi sila atakihin ng pest. And for disease, next slide, we have a vegetable disease. Uh, Anthracnose, early blight, and some crop viruses, mga leaf blight, mildew, etc. No, and also the leaf spot. So, na prevent natin ang di ang disease kapag hindi tayo nagdidilig masyado. Ibig sabihin, we only water when it's necessary. Ah, uh, pagtagulan ang ating vegetable diseases yan kadalasan. No, also kailangan hindi siksikan yung mga plants natin in an area. No, so dapat meron tayong strategy. Next slide. Meron tayong tinatawag na exclusion, no? Dapat uh, pinipili natin yung mga magagandang plants. And also, we use net cover, insect traps, because some insects carry the, the disease, no? Eradication, protection, no? Dapat uh, be covers, no? Uh, yung ating chemical protection, uh, last na yan, no? Dapat um, hindi siya laging option. Dapat last option yan. So, kung ma-eradicate natin, Kung may nakita kayong pest, tanggalin niyo yung pest, tanggalin niyo na yung mga affected parts at uh, ilayo niyo na siya sa garden. No? Gusto natin uh, ma-isolate muna sila. No? And then, pag hindi na talaga kaya, especially if you are producing hundreds of hundreds of, of vegetables, yan, dapat nag may measures na tayo dyan. Halimbawa, yung paggamit ng mga, uh, mga biological pest, pesticide or yung ating mga naturally, naturally sourced pesticide. And then resistance. We can use resistant crops against some insect attack. All right. So essentially, this is we have more for you, and this is just a brief introduction. And I do hope you get uh, basic knowledge, no? Uh, especially with the compost, because yun ang ating heart ng organic gardening, and uh, yung mga strategies niyan, it will come along the way how to grow various types of vegetables, and also to manage. The, the pest and nutrient. No? Nutrient and pest comes hand in hand. All right? And uh, ito lang muna so far yung ating share And we have more in store for you. So thank you. And uh, ito, yung question pala. Um, ayan. Yeah, two questions. So magdagdag pa ba tayo ng question? Okay pa ba? Hi, Mami Ru. Hi. Thank you, Sir Glenn. Yeah. Thank you this, ano ha, grabe introduction pa lang, hindi pa to yung kasama dun sa talagang uh, course sa Lika Academy. Ang dami na namin natutunan. Lalo na ito, <laughs> <laughs> very guilty kami dyan kasi itlog akala namin pagkagamit ng itlog, pag nabasag lalagay mo na dun sa sa ano eh, sa halaman okay, sige Glenn, uh, feel free ano ba yung mga courses na ina-offer sa Lika Academy? Yeah um, well, we have we have five uh, actually, so here we have three to show you, meron tayong introduction to organic farming, if you plan to establish an organic farm or to to convert your space into an organic garden this course is for you indoor plants 101s mga plantitas natin i know lahat ng nanonood mga secret plantita yan 
-hmm. and uh, we have a course for this so how to really grow your plants very well and then grow your culinary herbs man uh, sa mga gustong mag uh, add ng flavor yes we have straw growing strawberries we have flowers in in Lika. so uh, visit our uh, website www.likaacademy.com Yeah. Yay! And uh, congratulations, meron tayong napili na kanina dun sa winners natin. Yes, o oh, pakipromote naman ang promo discount for FH Moms, uh, Glenn. Yeah. So, if you like us on Facebook, Lika Academy, so makikita nyo kami uh, in, oh, yeah, on Facebook, ang logo namin is yung Lika Academy and then may tatlong color, yellow, orange, and green. And, and same as Instagram, just type Lika.academy and you can see us there. So we have a promo discount of 20%. So just use the code. Uh, it's our promo code FHMOMS2020. FHMOMS20. Yeah, Yay. promo from April 26. Yeah. Uh, May 26. May 26. Oh, oh. All right. And again, don't forget to follow, like uh, uh, them on Facebook. And Instagram, that's Likha Academy PH sa Facebook. And sa IG naman, Likha.Academy. So, syempre, meron pang tatlong course na ipapamigay si Glenn mamaya. But we will also now announce the winner kanina. Um, for the first question, uh, should we announce it already, Glenn? Ayan, ipa-flash na natin yung winner dun sa first question. Well, the correct answer is composting or decomposition. Ang tamang ang ating winner yeah. ay si Mami Shi Ramos Custodio. And also, uh, for the second hey. question, hey, congrats! Legumes, ang correct answer. Mami Carlea Vanilla Yonson. Okay, if you want to claim your um, prize, uh, we, we will try to reach you out uh, within the week. Uh, also, para malaman mo kung how you will be able to to avail yung yung napanalunan mong course. And mamaya i-announce sa atin yung winners ng raffle. Okay, so um we will now go to the questions part, um Glenn. Okay, ang first question natin ay mula kay Mami Leia Ordonez. Ang sabi niya, mura po ba yung hydrophonic? Though it... Yung hydrophonic ba, yan ba yung ginagamit kapag nag um, yung sa lettuce yes yes yan yun ah, okay. uh, correct no so meron tayong low cost hydroponic setup ito yung yung gumagamit lang ng liquid solution and also yung styrofoam uh, and then you, you grow the seeds yes it's cheap however if you want to produce a on a larger scale mahal ito because kailangan mo pa ng mga greenhouse and nursery yes Um, so, kung personal consumption lang, yes, it's not, not so expensive, but it will still cost you somehow. Um, for larger scale, medyo mahal na ito. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Wow. All right. Si Mami uh, Donna Henota, ang sabi po niya, okay lang po bang sa worm bin or compost bin ang newspaper? Ah, yes po. Pwede po. Pwede po. Pwede po isama sa, pwede po sila sa ibabaw, no? Para pang cover sa so, so worm. Yes. Wow, okay. Si Mami uh, Dana rin pala, Dana Hinota. Feeling ko ano to, si Mami Dana, talagang nagahalaman na siya. Ang question mm -hmm. naman, for calcium phosphate, what kind of vinegar should be used? Kailangan ba yung, okay lang ba yung nabibili sa grocery na mga vinegar, na yung mga nasa sampung piso, yung mga um, sampung piso, o dapat yung mga... Medyo cane vinegar ba? Ganyan? Ano dapat? <laughs> yeah. We advise, thank you for the good question. We advise natural vinegar, yung mga walang label, yung mga nasa wet markets, yung best. Because again, uh, manufactured na kasi yung ating, ano, yung ating mga commercially available vinegar. Pero yung mga locally available, yung mga fermented, yun yung gusto natin kasi natural way yung gusto natin. But if you use a, a vinegar na Commercial, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Next. So, ibig sabihin ba yung mga um, sukang iloko, ganyan, or ano, uh, sub, ano ba to? Yes. Yung yes. Highway, okay yan. Okay din yes. yung mga All right. Si Mami Jocelyn Endike Pata, uh, Pataho, ano po bang plants ang madali lang mapatubo and pwede even sa terrace or sa yeah. dirty 
lang ilagay. Yeah, the good question. Actually, I have a list, no? So, if you can guys take down notes, no? Um, so, here's, here's the list, no? Leeks, onion leeks, pwede yan. Cherry tomatoes, basil, madali lang yan. Lemongrass, very heat resistant yan. Pechay, mustasa, malunggay. Ayan, dapat staple lang malunggay sa atin. Highly nutritious. Alugbati. Ayan ang mga madadaling patubuhin natin. Uy, wow! Nung kinoted yan. Sa mga mga bago pa lang nating naka, nanood ng live ngayon, pwede pong panoorin to, team replay, para at least uh, malaman nyo ulit yung problem. Yeah. Maraming, maricol, maraming tinuro si Glenn kanina na kailangan pala sa paghahalaman. <laughs> ngayon ka lang nalaman. Okay. Now, sabi ni Mami Jessa Nerpio, I'm not sure kung tama yung pagkakabasa ko dito ha. Ask ko lang po sana kung ano po ang benefits ng blue ternatus flower kasi marami po rito sa amin. Okay lang po ba siya ilagay sa water everyday? Mm-hmm. Yung blue ternate po, um, ginagamit po ito, ginagamit ang blue ternate maliban sa pag-color, it's rich in anti- antioxidant so we can get extra nutrient sa blue ternate kasi ang ang chemical diyan ay yung mga anthocyanin no yung mga sabi nga nila diba sa mga nutritionists and dietitians natin you eat colorful food no sa isang plate mo dapat iba-ibang kulay yan so blue ternate is one color it, it adds antioxidant sa food sa sa diet natin wow so ibig sabihin pala no it's natural antioxidant so instead of uh, um, buying yung mga uh, nasa grocery na mga minsan di ba yung mga inumin like tsaka ganyan kasi hindi natin alam baka may mga chemicals na siya mas okay pala yung ganun din no yung permit yes okay. that's right Okay. Next question actually Glenn maraming pang questions tayo ha we still have mga three to four <laughs> Sabi ni Mami Jocelyn din, si Mami Jocelyn uli, um, okay lang po ba if yung mga eggshells kukulayan? Like ng watercolor, yung labas po. Ah, um, wag nyo na pong kulayan kung ipang pang for ferment. No need. Mm. Pero kung for decorative purposes sa garden, yeah, it's okay. Um, as long as it's watercolor. Yeah, for composting uh, and fermentation ng cal- calcium phosphate, no need. Alright. Ito naman po mula kay Mami Aaron Eugenio. Nakakatulong po ba ang balat ng sibuyas for composting? Yes, nakakatulong ito dahil ito ay, again, organic matter and it can also repel yung mga pest natin na lalapit sa compost. Nice. Okay, next question mula kay uh, Mami Don uh, A. Romero. So, saan po nakakabili ng molasses? Oo, actually, gusto ko rin itanong yan. Sa yeah, grocery okay. ba? Uh, grocery, mahal, no? Uh, did you know na ang molasses namin, we, we buy it like 30 pesos na per kilo. Mahal na yon. Before, we just get it like 20 pesos. Uh, we're lucky because here in Silang, Cavite, we, we have a, yung Kaf Mako, yung bilihan ng mga feeds. So, meron silang molasses na available. Pero in local supermarket, uh, wala. Masyadong mahal. So, I recommend you to find it online. So, may, meron yan for sure. Sa mga garden supplies, sa mga garden... Uh, centers, yan. Probably baka meron din sila. Just check. Uh, hindi ko masagot to ng one bullet answer for all because it depends mm-hmm. on where you are. <laughs> Oo, totoo. Correct. So, check yun na lang mga baka meron po sa mga um, tin, yung mga garden na shop. Meron po yan sa inyo. Baka meron yan. Okay. This will be our last question bago tayo dun sa game and announcement ng raffle winners. Sige. Ang sabi ni Mami Lea Ordonez, anong plants po ang pwedeng itanim sa buong taon? Hmm, okay. Uh, lahat naman po nang nakikita niyong halaman sa market, eh, mga gulay sa market, generally, yes, kaya sa buong taon. However, Yung mga perennial crops natin, ito yung mga halimbawa, yung mga malunggay, yung mga alugbati, kasi harvest ka ng harvest dyan and they're just there growing and growing. Uh, yan, okay yan all year round. Yung mga tanglad, mga pandan, no? uh, itanim natin yan. Mga ginger, pwede yan all year round. Pero halimbawa, yung kamatis, no? pag, naubos, pag nabunga na yung kamatis, it will die. No? So, hindi na natin sa tin- nagtatanim ulit tayo ulit next time. Na. So, all year round, pwede naman siyang itanim o nang itanim ng itanim. Uh, ang mga mahirap lang patubuin, yung mga seasonal crops natin, halimbawa, kung may passion fruit kayo, hindi naman all year round di, may yung passion fruit. Strawberries, for example, um, also, um, yung mga 
essentially mga fruiting, yes, hindi yan all year round. Pero yung mga leafy vegetables, pwede yan anytime of the year. Alright? Hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you very much, Glenn. Nakakatuwa. Now we go to um, our game. Ayan, ready na ba kayo, mommies? Kasi meron pang itatanong ulit si Glenn and for you to win uh, their courses. Ayan, so what will be our questions, uh, Glenn? Ayan. Okay, so I will just uh, uh, dictate, no? orally dictate the question. So kung natatanong okay, natatan yung pa yeah. ang uh, lecture natin, all right, this is very good uh, question. So, what do you call the organic concoction that uses fish inards? And okay, fish baka, waste. Ano, acronym lang. Yes, okay lang, no problem. Okay, okay lang daw kahit acronym lang. Ayan. All right. So, if uh, okay. makakasagot, ayan. <laughs> Let's So, mga nagtatay pa yung mga mommies, yung gumagamit ng, ayan, sige, ipili tayo ng one winner din para rito. Ayan. So, kahit daw, ano, kahit daw um, acronym, okay lang. Mm, yes, okay lang po. So, ayan, let's see. Okay, I think meron na tayong uh, winner. Can we... Announce, Glenn, yung ating, ano, um, the correct answer. Yes, the correct answer ay F-A-A. Or, ah, sorry, uh, tama, F-A-A, fish amino acid. Yes. <laughs> okay, so it's F-A-A. Well, the, our winner is, congratulations to you. Ayan, ito na. I-flash lang natin. Si Mami Aaron Eugenio, congratulations po. Ayan, fish amino acid. Yay! Okay. Tayo. Okay. okay, and next question. Uh, what is the most important ingredient when we uh, prepare calcium phosphate? Uy. Yung, yung main ingredient natin dyan. Na Pinagkukuha mm -hmm. ng calcium. Nice. So, sige. Comment down your answer, mga mommy. Salaga naman. Talagang, ano, paunan. Actually, we we check uh, our, uh, yung mga winners natin. Random nilang natin pinipili, actually, mga moms. Yan. Yay! Ang dami na. Ang dami wow. ng sumagot. Ang dami ng sumagot. Congratulations! Ayan. Sige. Well, make sure na, ano, ha, hindi tayo madodoble ng winners para naman mara to give chance to others. Ayan. Pero join lang kayo, di ba? Ayan. So, hihi. Ayan na. I think we have a winner. Ah, uh, Glenn, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is eggshell. Yay! Congratulations to you, Mommy uh, Geneva Asenastan. Eggshells. Wow. Very nice. Okay. And now we go to our... Um, last question. Ayan, so hopefully ma imbitahan uli natin ng Lika Academy no sa susunod na mga buwan para mas marami pa tayong matutunan. Okay. So, okay, so ano this, pa ba so another this, question or last na? O yun na yon. Uh, last na lang, last na lang because last we have five. Okay. Okay. Sige, okay. sige. So, last question. Uh, ito, ito medyo mahirap. So, the question is, what do you call the common vegetable pest? na lumilipad na dumada po to sa mga fruiting fruit, fruits na mga vegetables natin or fruits. Ah. Yeah. Oh, oh. So what do you call that pest? Ano kaya yung pest na yon? Mm -mm. Pero common yun no kapag lalo na kapag medyo overripe na yung mga yung mga prutas, tama ba? Ah, uh, Glen. Parang very yes, common ako siya. Yes, common siya lagi sa mga fruits na na tinatanim natin at pag uh, malapit ng i-harvest, ako, oh, favorite na favorite ng pest na 'yan. Dapuan at butasin. Yes. Oh, oh. Especially ang palaya. <clears throat> oh, oh. Wow. Okay. So, huh? let's reveal the answer. Yes, let's reveal the answer. Yes, okay. The answer is fruit answer fly. Is Yes, the correct answer is fruit flies. Congratulations to you. Uh -huh. Let me see that. Sige, na star na ng ating uh, moderators. Well, ang ating winner I see. Congratulations. 
Kay Mommy April Casamayor Mendoza. Congratulations po. Ayan. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Okay. So dahil dyan, syempre, we will now announce the winners ng ating um, raffle. Kasi di ba, before tayo nagkaroon ng live, um, we ask you guys to register sa Likha Academy. And now, uh, Glenn, I think it's also um, part of the slides as well, yung mga names ng mga mommies natin na winners. Ayan. Yeah. So, I, I will leave it to Apa. So Apa, feel free to, to announce. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, Apa. Oh, okay. I think we're going to up you here on stream. Ayan. So, well, Glenn and Apa are co-founders of Lika Academy and we're very, very fortunate na kasama natin sila today. So, Apa, can you announce the winners of our courses from Lika Academy? Yes, thank you, Mommy Roof. So, uh, yeah, so okay, for the first um, winner, we have um, the email Maricel Gerard Diaz 022377 at gmail.com for winning Introduction to Organic Farming. So, um, by the way, all the raffle winners will email you um, how instructions on how you can avail of the free course, and then please, please um, sign up using the emails that you use for um, the raffle. No? So congratulations um, for our first yes. raffle. So next we have um, for the winner of the second course, Grow Your Own Culinary Herbs, we have rowellinrata2019 at gmail.com. So again, we'll send it um, to your email. So very much uh, congratulations. Yay! And also, yung mga winners natin sa live, um, I'll connect you with uh, with APA, mga mamis. Ako na yung, ano, para makuha nila yung mga email address. Yay! Very good. Okay, so moving forward. Um, our third winner for the Learn and Discover Edible Flowers course, uh, we have Arlene Mar Mar Martirez28 at gmail.com. Congratulations, Arlene. Hey, congrats. Then after that, we have um, for our Indoor House Plants 101 course, rotzendegala at gmail.com. So congratulations. And then finally, for our last course, Growing Strawberries in a Tropical Climate, um, congratulations to Arlene e. Bautista at gmail.com. Yay! Congrats sa ating mga winners. So, syempre, once again, um, they will notify you. Lika Academy will notify you sa mga winners natin. And yung live winners sa ating kanina, message ko kayo within this week para makuha ko yung mga email addresses niyo para naman uh, ibigay sa Lika Academy. Okay, before we end our um, live today, uh, Apa and Glenn, um, please uh, promote uh, where can we find you, where can we follow you, and your last message sa mga mommies natin. Yeah, so um, for, again, I'll just share it here quickly. So for our uh, Facebook, please look at look for us at Lika Academy. Um, just search it on Facebook, Lika Academy, and Instagram. Our Instagram is Lika.academy. So at Lika.academy for Instagram. And we just want to promote um, for you, especially for you mga FH moms, a uh, special 20% uh, promo discount from April 26 to May 26. So make sure you avail of this um, for any course available chef, for all the five courses we currently offer. Uh, yeah, Glenn, do you have anything else to say? Yeah. Um, this opportunity is best to, to mention that um, gardening is a survival skill. <laughs> so kailangan, like, it's, it's, a, it's an important skill for every one of us. And knowing that andami pang space in the Philippines to grow your own food, you better start considering that skill this year. So feel free to enroll <laughs> in Lika Academy. Yun. So very important. Wow. <laughs> Yay! Very nice message. Maraming salamat, Apa and Glenn. Uh, 
Ka Academy. Thank you for joining us the, this afternoon and we look forward to our next session with you kasi I'm sure marami pa kami matututunan, especially about gardening, agriculture, and farming. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you. So maraming salamat muli, Glenn and Apa from Lika Academy. Thank you very much for joining us uh, this afternoon. Uh, sa mga mami sa atin, once again, if uh, uh, marami kayong natutunan, please, please, let's follow them on their social media account and uh, support their cause. Kasi talaga naman, sabi nga ni Glenn, uh, gardening is something talaga, that, a skill that we should learn right now, lalo na nagtataan sa lahat ng bilihin ng pagkain. So, it's time for us to grow our own vegetables, our fruits, sa mismo sa ating bahay. And uh, to please follow um, Lika Academy on Facebook at Lika Academy PH and on IG, Lika.Academy. Ayan po. And also, again, they have this 20% discount. Mommies, ipa-flash ulit natin yan. Okay, yan. Matatakpan lang yung mukha ko. Aha, so, let me flash that. Parang hindi ko pa siya nakikita. Okay, sige, flash uli natin siya. Ayan, so 20% discount for the mommies na nais na mag-enroll on any of their courses sa Ilika Academy. Uh, use our code FHMOMS20. So, please visit their website. And also, if you have other questions, feel free na mag-message sa kanila on their social media accounts. FH Moms 20, that is our code, promo discount code. Available lamang yan from April uh, 26 to May 26. So, marami po silang courses. Uh, they have farming, um, yun, sa gardening. Uh, meron din yung sa um, herbs and then edible flowers. Ayan, growing strawberries. And more to come. Marami pa silang courses na iya offer uh, in the future. And again, thank you very much mga mommies for joining us today. Sana po marami kayong natutunan. And again, don't forget to follow them on Facebook and IG, Likha Academy. Hanapin lamang po, Likha Academy PH on Facebook and Likha.Academy on IG. Maraming salamat po. Ako pang yung mommy roof and see you again on our next webinar. Bye! Tara na tumabok na sa FH Moms Radio Habang ikay nagre-relax sa bahay mo FH Moms Radio Changing lives One mom at a time Moving forward Giving back With FH Moms Radio Tara na tumabok na sa FH Moms Radio At dito na ang LH Moms sa makakasama Ang online radio na magbibigay advice At mga kwento na siguradong mapapanay Ito ay hindi lang basta mga chikahan At dito sila upang ikaw ay gabayan Turuan ng mga tips kapag hahanap buhay At maging isa ka sa successful na nanay O diba? Kaya saan ka pa? Basta ikaw ay momshi, dito bida ka FH Moms Radio, number one Ito ang online radio ng sangkanan na yan Di ka lang basta nanay, ikaw ay super nanay Para sa pamilya ang lahat ay iaalay Lahat ibibigay, lahat ay kayang gawin Ang iyong pagiging nanay, lalo pang palakasin FH Moms Radio Tara na tumutok na sa FH Moms Radio
Radio.